Alright guys, well, got a new video for you here. This is on my brand new Galaxy S3. And um, basically what I'm going to be showing you today is, like I say, start with the basics on everything I try to do. So we're going to show you guys how to enter stock recovery, stock Android recovery on this device. Um, which is pretty simple to do, um, but I'm going to go through that and then also how to do a factory reset to do that also. Um, I do have Wi-Fi stuff in here, but you can see it's pretty much stock right now. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and hold your power button. Power off the device. Hit OK. And let it power down. OK. So next what you're going to do is you're going to hold your button in the center here. Home button. And you're going to hold your volume up button on the side right here. Right there. Volume up. So we're going to hold those two buttons. And then we're going to hold the power button. Now you're going to see the top is going to flash recovery here. See it go blue? And then you can let go of the power button. Keep holding the up and the other button. And there's Android Recover right there. So let me focus on this so you guys can see it. Alright, so here you go. This is the stock Android recovery that I just showed you guys how to boot into, uh, which is pretty simple. Um, so from here, you can do a lot of different things actually with this recovery. You can apply update from ADB. You can apply update from external card. You can factory reset. Um, you can wipe cache. All you got to do is um, use your volume on the side here, your volume rocker and your power button to select things. I think it's power button. So we're going to go down and we're going to do a factory reset. So we're going to go to wipe data slash factory reset and we're going to apply that and scroll down to yes, delete all user data. This is if you're having a problem with your device and um, something just messed up and, or you just want to start clean with a clean device like it is when you get it from Verizon. This will wipe off all your apps, delete everything, all the passwords, user settings, everything. So we're going to go ahead and select that and down here you can see it's telling you what it's doing. It's uh, formatting, wiping data, formatting data. It's going to, I think it's going to format cache partition also and then it's going to wrap up and come back up to your screen. Let's let that happen. There you go. It's done. Uh, also whenever I do a wipe I always go ahead and do the wipe the uh, cache partition also just for the sake of it even though it already did it in the uh, other last command we gave it. So there you go, and then it says reboot system now on the top, and you're going to hit the power button, and it'll reboot the system. So now this reboot is going to take a little longer than your normal power on because you just wiped everything out. So make sure you guys give this thing uh, plenty of time to boot up here on uh, first boot up. Um, it is going to be on this boot animation. could be upwards of 10 minutes after you do a factory reset. Um, so there you go. That's how to get into Android Recovery. That's how to do a factory reset on the device. Always got to know the simple stuff first, and then we can move on to more videos. I'm going to have videos on rooting this device, unlocking the bootloader, custom ROMs, and much, much more. So stay tuned. Subscribe down below if you want to see that. Um, while this boots up here, as always, you guys can check me out at rootjunkie.com right here above my thumb. Updating this site daily. Facebook or Twitter over there. And I'm just going to show you this thing boot up, and uh, we'll wrap this up. So here you go guys, that is uh, pretty much it. You're going to enter the setup wizard on this thing now, just like you got it, like you took it out of the box. I'm not going to turn on the phone, or turn off the phone. I don't have a SIM in it right now, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and connect with Wi-Fi and get back into my phone and go ahead and set it all up. But that's it guys, I just restored this thing back to uh, factory stock. Pretty simple, enter stock recovery like I said, and factory reset, and you're done. Pretty easy. So I hope this helps you guys out, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.